Poems Every Child Should Know. Edited by Mary E. Burt. Section 67. Read for LibriVox.org by Kara Schallenberg. This section contains two poems, The Lie and L'Envoy. Part 6 continued. The Lie. The Lie by Sir Walter Raleigh, 1552 to 1618, is one of the strongest and most appealing poems a teacher can read to her pupils when teaching early American history. The poem is full of magnificent lines, such as, Go, soul, the body's guest. The poem never lacks an attentive audience of young people when correlated with the study of North Carolina and Sir Walter Raleigh. The solitary majestic character of Sir Walter Raleigh, his intrepidity while undergoing tortures inflicted by a cowardly king, the ring of indignation, all these make a weapon for him stronger than the axe that beheaded him. In this poem he has the last word. Go, soul, the body's guest, upon a thankless errand. Fear not to touch the best. The truth shall be thy warrant. Go, since I needs must die, and give the world the lie. Go tell the court it glows and shines like rotten wood. Go tell the church it shows what's good and doth no good. If church and court reply, then give them both the lie. Tell potentates they live acting by others' actions, not loved unless they give, not strong but by their factions. If potentates reply, give potentates the lie. Tell men of high condition that rule affairs of state, their purpose is ambition, their practice only hate. And if they once reply, then give them all the lie. Tell zeal it lacks devotion, tell love it is but lust, tell time it is but motion, tell flesh it is but dust, and wish them not reply, for thou must give the lie. Tell wit how much it wrangles in tickle points of niceness, tell wisdom she entangles herself in over-wiseness, and if they do reply, straight give them both the lie. Tell physic of her boldness, tell skill it is pretension, tell charity of coldness, tell law it is contention, and as they yield reply, so give them still the lie. Tell fortune of her blindness, tell nature of decay, tell friendship of unkindness, tell justice of delay, and if they dare reply, then give them all the lie. Tell arts they have no soundness, but vary by esteeming. Tell schools they want profoundness, and stand too much on seeming. If arts and schools reply, give arts and schools the lie. So when thou hast, as I, commanded thee, done blabbing, although to give the lie deserves no less than stabbing, yet stab at thee who will, no stab the soul can kill. Sir Walter Raleigh L'Envoy L'Envoy, by Rudyard Kipling, is a favourite on account of its sweeping assertion of the individual's right to self-development. When earth's last picture is painted, and the tubes are twisted and dried, when the oldest colours have faded, and the youngest critic has died, we shall rest, and, faith, we shall need it, lie down for an eon or two, till the master of all good workmen shall set us to work anew and those who were good shall be happy. They shall sit in a golden chair. They shall splash at a ten-league canvas with brushes of comet's hair. They shall find real saints to draw from, Magdalene, Peter, and Paul. They shall work for an age at a sitting, and never be tired at all. And only the master shall praise us, and only the master shall blame. And no one shall work for money, and no one shall work for fame, but each for the joy of the working, and each in his separate star, shall draw the thing as he sees it, for the God of things as they are. Rudyard Kipling End of section 67 Read by Kara Schallenberg on January 12, 2007 in Oceanside, California